days, you're going to surprise me with a heart attack. <laughs> now, what is it? No, I can't tell you yet, because I got to go get a little surprise to celebrate the big surprise. No, I, mean, I don't think I can take one surprise on top of another. Don't you like me bringing home surprises? Oh, well, Edith, with you a surprise, you'll be anything from a runaway horse to a Puerto Rican. <laughs> She's bringing me a surprise. Help me, Lord. <laughs> You just did what, Louise? <laughs> I told Edith she could have the job in the store. No way, Louise. No way. But, George... There's no way that Honky's wife is going to come in my store. <laughs> Except with a bundle of cleaning in one hand and some ready cash in the other. <laughs> George, those people are having a hard time. So are we people. The only difference between them and us is that our people have had 300 years practice. <laughs> well, it will only be until Archie's strike is over. That could be 5,000 months from now. What are people going to think when they come in the store and see a white face standing all behind the counter? What would they think? What would they think? The niggas will think she owns the store and the hockeys will think we bleached the hell. George, you don't realize that times have changed. People ain't as dumb as you are anymore. <laughs> Just last Sunday, Reverend Hamilton said we were all brothers under the skin. Sure, he gets paid to say that. <laughs> Punk ain't no brother of mine. He ain't no distant relative. In fact, he don't even make a good stranger. <laughs> no job, Louise. That's fine. Now. <laughs> What's for dinner, dear? <laughs> George, you win. I knew you'd see it my way eventually. After all, you'd only be driving poor Archie out of his mind. Say what? <laughs> I said you were right, as usual. No, no, what did you say about Bunker? I said you would drive poor Archie out of his mind when he hear Edith's going to work for you. He'd probably jump off the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Queensboro Bridge is closer. And I could watch you from here. <laughs> George! Settle! I said she's got the job. <laughs> None. None. Well, give the deck three chances. And you cheat. <laughs> Ma? I don't know. She took off out of here like a thing bat out of hell. <laughs> Why? What happened? She get a job? Uh, she didn't get no job. Oh, well, I'm going upstairs to freshen up. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I hate this game. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, you're back, are you? Surprise! <laughs> oh, Game on me here. Hold it, hold it. That is a surprise. Past Toby's bakery. Don't tell me you brought home something good for dessert, with James. Yeah, and I was very lucky, because it was just closed, and Mr. Pastore likes to get upstairs to watch Walter Cronkite. He thinks they might be related, because they got the same eyebrows. <laughs> I'm thinking of one of them big, delicious chocolate cakes with all the nuts on the top. It ain't one of them. That's right, it ain't. <laughs> What is this? Happy Bar Mitzvah Ravy. <laughs> Who the hell is Ravy? He's the little boy that got the mump, so his mother didn't come and pick up the cake. Well, how are we gonna eat this? This is a Jewish cake, you know? <laughs> you give this to a kid before he gets circumscribed. <laughs> This is a $10 cake. I got it 
for one dollar. Couldn't he give you something that said Merry Christmas, Ivy? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, that would be stale by now. All right, cut out my chunk from the part that says happy All there. Right. Leave the bar mitts for part for the meathead. He ain't a Jew, but he'll eat anything that ain't moving. Archie, I got a job. You got a job? I thought you said you couldn't get no job. I got a job. Wait a minute. From George Jefferson. Hold it, hold it, hold it. George Jefferson? Yeah. You mean next door George Jefferson? Yeah. You mean colored George Jefferson? Right. Louise offered me a job in their cleaning store, and I start tomorrow. Oh, wrong, Edith. You quit tonight. Oh, it's like the answer to all our Oh, it, Edith, I don't pray to George Jefferson. You ain't gonna wait for me. But Oh, no, no, Edith, what the hell's going on around here? You getting a job in a colored store, you bring me home a kosher cake? The next thing you'll have me sitting at the table with a Yamaha around my head. I just want to help, and they need somebody in the store. No, they don't need nobody at all. They're just telling you that. Don't you see what the game is? They're just trying to be friendly and drive me nuts. Oh. No, no, wait it. No, that's a handout. That's all I call that, a handout. Archie, if I don't take this job, we'll have to go on welfare. Use food stamps. What would you call that? Yeah, read it, but, but, I, I, I mean, eat it. What are the neighbors gonna say? I, I mean, the white neighbors. Like the McNabs and, and, and the Happenings and the Munsons. I mean, you're working in a colored store there. What are they gonna say? I guess they'll just say hi, eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had a lousy day. Oh, no, I didn't. I had a wonderful day. <laughs> Happy Bar Mitzvah Irving. Who's <laughs> Irving? Some little Jewish kid is still hiding. Hey, everybody, I got some great news. Ooh, what is it, honey? What is it? We're having cake tonight. <laughs> Who's Irving? <laughs> your news, honey, your news! Oh, yeah, hey, I got a job! Oh, hey, oh, what? what? Isn't that great? What? So did I! Where you what? Like where? What? The Jefferson's clean! What? What? What is that I heard the meathead say? I got a job! You got a job? Yeah! That's the greatest news I heard all year! I hear it. we're saved! We're saved by the Polish cavalry! <laughs> Come on over here, read it right now, and get yourself on this phone here. What for? You're going to call up the Jeffersons, the number is right here, and you're going to tell George Jefferson that you resigned as of now. But Archie, I want to work. Yeah, why does she have to quit her job? Because, didn't you hear, your husband, the meathead, has got a job. He's going to be the breadwinner now, he's backing me up, so you get over here, read it, and you die. <laughs> Okay, Edith, I got a finger too. I can die. Oh, I can die. I got the back, 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 back. I'll get the number. I call the Jeffersons and I'll say what has to be said myself. That's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> get over here, meathead. <laughs> what kind of a job? Hold it. Hold it. Uh, hi there, Louise. Uh, Archie here. Uh, is George there? Uh, I want to talk to him for a minute. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll sell him. So what kind of a... Hold it, hold it. Hi there, George. Uh, Archie here. I got a couple of things to tell you. Uh, first of all, my son-in-law, Michael, uh, he just got a job. Yeah, yeah. Hold it. What kind of a job was that? Tutoring a kid in history. Hey, hey, you hear that? Tutoring a kid in history. Brain work. Probably pays him a fortune. Yeah, how much are you going to make a week? Uh, about $20, $25 a week. The kid's going to make... <laughs> 
And the other thing I wanted to say to you there, George, was that uh, uh, Edith here wants to talk to Louise. You didn't wake me. <laughs> no, get on the blower. Hello, Louise. Uh, Archie just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, I'll be there in the morning, 9 o'clock sharp. <laughs> Between 20 and 25 hours a week. <laughs> and you got the knife? <laughs> Eat cake. Join us 